Stephen's family uh, been grape growers in the area for a very, very long time, one of the old, old families of this region. They came round to us with Reg Drayton at the end of the 1992 vineyard and said, we want to talk to you about taking our grapes. And we went over into the kitchen and we sat down and we had a cup of tea and about 40 odd minutes later uh, we shook hands and, and that was it. And, uh, and I remember George said, we've probably got to keep this for the kids. He said, your son's the captain of the primary school. And he said, and my grandson's the vice captain. And they play in the same football team and we should keep it for them. The vineyard itself is, uh, is such a diverse vineyard. Uh, in, in, the, in its aspect, it's, it's right on, it uh, goes on either side of a, a hill. So we get actually such a variation in its, uh, in its growing style, in its ripening time frames. We, we, we see so much difference in, uh, in the tasting of fruit when we actually go through it this time of year on from one side of the, the vineyard to the other. The vineyard itself, to me, I think it's some of the best red soils I've seen. Um, it is one of uh, a deep, rich, brown, ready, uh, really, not fine, but uh, it's just, it's almost like the perfect soil. Uh, it's crumbly, uh, hardly cracks, but it's also the, uh, when there's uh, water, uh, when there's a rain event, ideal penetration. It gives, um, that vineyard is just, it's unique in its, uh, in its own growing style and, and it's got everything there that actually helps with that, uh, with to produce its uh, fine end Stephen's uh, wine. Fine, elegant, you have a, a spectrum of perfume from the sort of big sweet end to the really fine elegant end. Stephen's is down that fine elegant end and it does smell like perfume, that perfume character when it's fermenting. Uh, so if you use old-fashioned terms, it's the Shabley style. Finer, more elegant, with this really floral, lifted character. We get Neil to actually come in and do the harvesting because he enjoys driving up and down the hills themselves with the harvester, so he enjoys it and that's something that he, it, uh, he takes on every year for us. So that's part of the agreement that we do have uh, with Neil. When we first year we had it in 93, I remember the boys said to me, what are we going to do with this? And I said, I don't know yet, but if you blend it away, you're dead, because this is so good and it's so different to everything else we've got. And that probably started the, the single vineyard work that we now do. It was that first Stephen Seymour that sort of opened our eyes to, to what the potential was.